when the numerator is larger than the denominator. Uh, to give you a little bit of a clearer idea, let's say instead we have this as x to the fifth. That makes our numerator degree 5, and the difference between the two is 3. So when we zoom out, this graph should look like a cubic, but again, because we have this negative out front, it's going to be flipped. Let's go to the graph. Here's it zoomed in, but when we zoom out, we see that we do indeed get something that looks like a cubic that has been reflected across the x-axis. Now in this graph, we see that the limit as x goes to negative infinity. So as we move off to the left, our entire graph shoots up to positive infinity. For this example, the limit as x goes to negative infinity, we'll name this new function g, is positive infinity. Then as x goes to positive infinity, as it gets really, really, really big, our outputs go down to negative infinity. They get infinitely large in the negative direction. Our limit as x goes to positive infinity is negative infinity. That is looking at the numerator greater than the denominator. If that makes sense, we'll go on to looking at what happens when the denominator is greater than the numerator. If you're ready for that, go on to the next video.